Just wanted to give you guys a few updates, a few things going on over the last couple months ago. This man right here, this pure hunk of good looking man flesh was on the channel. A few updates that, you know, as you know, over the past couple months, this man right here, Jet, has become president of the United States, the king of England. <laughs> he's basically, uh, he's created world peace and solved world hunger. Uh, and in the meantime, he's also, you know, decided he's, he solved the theory of relativity flew to the moon and out of his own loins, he's created, he's colonized the moon of his <laughs> own offspring and then decided to go ahead and go on to Mars as well and make a colony of his own and Mars as well. But those are just his hobbies, just a few things he's done over the past couple months. You know, his real passion is overtaking TV as we know it, baby, with this TV show, Next Crypto Gym. We're pumped. There's nothing this man can't do. He blows my mind. He's all over the place. He's since then even made all the more, all these projects, all these connections, all these partnerships with BitBoy, with Jeff, this man, this awesome guy, with George, all these things going on. Leia, Brian, DF, all these partnerships, all these things going on, all these things in the works. Ooh, I'm so pumped for this TV show, Next Crypto Gym. He's making connections with projects like, like this right here, Alpha District, right? And ooh, where the weight token is the primary token for this game, this new game coming out. Oh, tell me more, Jet. How are you doing today, baby? The, the exclusive token for Alpha District. The yes. Token, not the primary. That, that's what yeah. I meant to say. Yes. I'm doing fantastic, man. And thank you for that uh, introduction for... For those of you, disclaimer, there was some, uh, just a little bit of hyperbole in the in the beginning. <laughs> you know, you know, in the mornings, I, I always wonder what this guy's uh, days like, because we know just real quick his morning routine, his morning warm up. He, he swims across the Pacific Ocean and hikes up the uh, Mount Everest and then swims on back by the time I finish my morning coffee. You know, I wonder what the rest of this man's day is like on a daily basis. Jet, goodness gracious. How do you do it? How do you do all this? Let, yesterday, you're on with Lifer, my man. Yeah, Phenomenal awesome. interview. Oh, I love Crypto Lifer. And I'm so pumped you made connections with him in Miami. Ooh. Yeah. Jet, I'm telling you what, it's eating me alive that I wasn't there. Oh, man. Next year, you should have made the trip. It was it was epic. I think I was at three parties with Crypto Lifer. Like, we just kept on seeing each other first at our <laughs> Bioli, our next crypto gem hourglass party at Bioli. That was an epic, epic event. And then I think we both went to uh, Ben Cowan's party at a penthouse the day after, and then the Maxim party. So I saw him at all three of those. And um, amazing guy, uh, amazing crew that we all, we both hang out with. And uh, hey, man, I'm, I'm just really excited. Um, I actually just, this is the first day that I, I got an apartment literally one block from the Neff Brands office. And this is the first day I walked down. It was so nice. It literally took me like 90 seconds to get from my apartment to here. So maximum efficiency that way, because you know, when I was driving down here from where I lived in, in the Miracle Mile area, it would take like 45 minutes. It was just driving me crazy. All the stuff that I, you know, I wanted to be doing that I couldn't be doing because I was driving. Yeah. So, you're you're saved like an hour and a half per day. Or exactly. Something. Yep. 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 Oh. A lot of frustration with the traffic and it's not that many miles. Because the thing with SoCal is that you can be eight miles away from something, but it takes like an hour because of the, you know, so this is so much better. And we got so much, the timing couldn't have been better because we have so much coming up. We're just within, I think two weeks of knowing for sure what the premiere date will be for the next crypto gem. It's almost all edited. I've seen it. It's it's oh. spectacular. It's oh. it's almost all edited. And there are still a few distributors that wanted to see it complete before we make a deal. So I'm expecting there's going to be some really, really exciting announcements, including the premiere date, obviously. Yeah. And uh, so then we can start having a countdown. And then uh, and also uh, some partners that uh, are going to be distributing. I mean, we already know that we're on over 180 platforms, including Amazon Prime, Samsung TV, LG, Pluto TV, part of Paramount, uh, direct. Right. Yeah, so right. we're, we're going to be all over, but we're gonna, there's going to be even more, man. And uh, yeah, I'm just really, really excited about that. Um, another thing that I think that I didn't tell you that um, a few um, 
that came after the last time we spoke was we added an extra bonus episode on the next crypto gem. So after they're going to run one episode per week, prime time for six weeks. And then after the, the sixth week, um, there's going to be a bonus episode where it's looking back and we bring in back everybody and ask them what their experience was like on the show. Uh, I'm going to be hosting that one. I, I hosted that one with Brian and in that one, what's pretty cool is we also get into the fact that the project was incubated by Hourglass. We talk, we even talk about our incubated projects, what our ethos is at Hourglass, why we wanted to create the next crypto gem. So obviously it's our show, you know, we were able to kind of take a bow on it as well as highlighting all the contestants uh, in that one. So oh, you're yeah, it's going to be amazing, man. Man, I'm so pumped. You know, we're hoping my boys, my boys right here, DeFi Kingdoms, as we all know, we're hoping and praying they make it on there. They make it on that show. Man, there's so much going on. And George, also since then, since you were last on, George has reached out to me. And I know it had that had a lot to do with you and the connection. So George has, I, I it's actually blown my mind. He's, he's not asked for anything. Out of nowhere, he reaches out to me. And he's just... Helps me in, in such a way where he genuinely, truly is looking out solely 100% for my best interest. It blows me away. He he's he throws away all the noise and gets right to it. He's he's like he has the formula on how to build a YouTube channel. And oh, yeah. 100%, it's 100%, he's looking out for my best interest always. And I... It, and I realize that more and more as time is he doesn't have any side agendas here. He's just oh, being, no. he wants to just be a blessing. <laughs> That's all it is. George it's, is such a great guy. I was at first. I mean, I was just thrilled to have him as a judge on the show. We've become really good friends since he's one of our chief advisors for Hourglass. And um, you know what? Me and him are kind of the same in that uh, uh, things like this, we you know, he doesn't do that for everybody, but man, you're an exceptional person. You have such positive energy. You bring so much. That's why we're like, we're always trying to roll you into everything in any way, in any way that we can. And I think that that's what, that's what web three is all about is that people that have good energy that we want to all, you know, work together and uh, be on the same team and be on the same Alliance. George loves you. He talks about you all the time and yeah. And same, same with Brian D Evans. And yeah. so, Man, just love love having you in our in our circle, dude. <laughs> it's so amazing how he really just does. He's he I'm you know he's hel he's helping a few people like me who gets I've been kind of stuck in a rut a little bit and with some bad habits on my YouTube channel and it's hard to get out of those habits and and kind mm -hmm. of change and do it the right way and and he's he had a good hard talk with me even last night <laughs> about. Oh, <nice. laughs> And so, and, and it's, he's just cool. I, yeah. yeah. He's, because, you know, I, it's easy. I think a lot of people don't really know him and get him wrong because he is stubborn as an ox, you yeah. know, at times, as we said. And I don't know. It, he's blown my mind. I, and Brian D. Evans, all these different things going on. I love seeing you guys in the Twitter spaces. So mm. much going. And, yeah, a bit of alpha. Okay, we've got – an extra bonus episode of the next crypto gym, not six episodes. Now it's seven. seven. Yeah. Ooh, man, I'm excited about that. Also. Okay. So this incubator program. Yes. I'm going with hourglass. The mm -hmm. way token. this first project is called alpha district. It's a game. Same. Okay. And that this is what, tell me more about this incubator program. Oh, absolutely. So basically, um, when we first got Neff Brands involved and the uh, extremely, extremely successful individual, Jeff Mahoney is, you know, we now announced as the chairman um, of our Hourglass group that we build uh, on. Uh, the first thing we wanted to do was the TV show because we knew that that would be a really exciting thing that everybody wants to see crypto on mainstream TV everywhere. And, um, and this is, this was something that was not just, um, it was not just for crypto people. We we're reaching out to the masses. The way that we did the next crypto gem is completely targeted towards even people that don't know anything about crypto or may just know a little bit about hearing, seeing articles about Bitcoin. 
they're going to like our show because there's so much there, there's so much suspense involved and it's it's written in a way that's so good the editing is so good that um it it will draw people in and we believe it will make the space bigger right but that was really just the very 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 beginning i mean when if we're going to bring in uh you know someone like neff brand someone like jeff we're going to have a lot more ambition than just being a TV show. So a lot of people still think Hourglass is just a TV show. It's not not that simple at all. What we're doing is that we're incubating several projects, over half a dozen, and um, that are all going to be using the Hourglass weight token as their exclusive utility token. So this is going to bring create a whole ecosystem of utility to the weight token and if you go to our website now, hourglassx.com, you can see that we've unveiled two of them so far. Um, I think that might be cached. So you might want to go in there and go directly to hourglassx.com because for a little bit we were um, – yeah, go there. We yeah. were uh, – while this was in development, we put it to the link tree temporarily. We forwarded it to the link tree temporarily. Yeah. Uh, but now that we have – yeah, this is our new website. Uh, we had a really good designer put this together. So if you go down to the projects, you can see our mission there. You can see you the projects that we are, we're incubating. The first one is Next Crypto Gem. The second one that we've unveiled is Alpha District. And I, I'm really excited to get deep into you with that because I know you're a crypto gaming guy. Yeah. So I'm going to give some really crazy drops on, on Alpha District. And there's going to be a drip, 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 drip. The you guys are going to be blown away. I don't think that there's ever been anything like this in blockchain gaming. And um, after Alpha District, there are more and more and more projects. And all of these are in the pipeline. And they're all going to be using uh, Hourglass Weight. Each one of these projects has their own team. So whenever we'd have one of these projects, uh, myself and the head of, of Hourglass Collective, Jeff, we invest in the project. So we're equity owners of the project. And I'm, I'm also advising and working with their team. So literally with the Hourglass Collective, we're going to have all of these different projects all using the weight token that I'm advising all of them. And uh, hopefully by the time we get to, you know, mid next year, they'll all be unveiled. They'll all be active uh, towards the Bitcoin having time. And we're just going to, we're going to have a lot more by then too. Um, Everyone that we've talked to as a prospect for being in our incubator program has wanted to do it. And uh, uh, to give credit, Brian D. Evans, one of our senior advisors, he brought in some monster, monster projects into us. And he's a super connector. He, he, he made it happen. So he's, he's one of the chief people for both, you know, our class and for Judge on Next Crypto Gem and for Alpha District. So... So, and you said you revealed, okay, so the first project on this incubator is Next Crypto Gym. Yes. Okay, yes. Alpha District, because I see, what's this project, Gigawatt? That one, so, so all the other ones have code names, so we want to make it oh. fun. <laughs> so actually, if you click on it, you get this cool rotating mystery box. Um, see that mystery box, like that ah. mystery question mark? Okay. And then there's a hint for each one. In this one, the hint is stories are a communal currency of humanity. Maybe this has something to do with stories and uh, publishing oh. and uh, intellectual property. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but this is going to come out in a couple of weeks. I'm really excited about the team working on Project Gigawatt. And uh, we're going to have a big unveil on this. One thing I did drop yesterday on the Crypto Lifer channel, so I'll mention it again, is this is kind of a somewhat of a Web3 version of a Web2 company not exactly the same but there's a web2 company that has a somewhat similar model that just sold for over half a billion dollars and we think that web3 with nfts with weight token integration is going to just make it that much bigger and better and um so we're really excited for for project gigawatt and we will reveal the real every time these get revealed then they're they the project whatever gets replaced by their their real name and information so that's amazing. Um, yeah. yeah. This is and, and none of these projects are projects that are contestants on the next crypto gym, right? These uh, are those are I mean, two. Yeah, I mean we're not we don't talk about that, but okay. uh in general, that's not you know yeah. okay, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Okay, with you at this new partnership that you've been you've been really connecting on a deeper level level with BitBoy. 
The, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and what he's talked about here recently on his channel is big, 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 big for the TV show, for all of this. This Man, it's crazy how you've made these connections. Because I remember yeah. we're down there at the central Miami. We're, we're waiting in line. We're talking together, and we're just about to talk to BitBoy. That's where we met. That's yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, I, and I love how you guys mentioned that also with Crypto Lifer that I had been watching Crypto Lifer for a long time. OK, and then I actually I turn around and he's right in my face live holding the camera. And I'm like, it's Crypto Lifer <laughs> right there with Dreamer. Dreamer yeah. and I where it was. Oh, my gosh. That was magic. How that happened. It's yeah, just it's so funny, man, because I'm just remembering that I met you at Decentral and that was the first time I had ever seen BitBoy in person. And I actually, do you remember what I asked you? I asked you, hey, are you part are part of his team? Because I just wanted to see if I could ask him a question, which is, would you want to be on our TV show? <laughs> I know, I know. It, it was so yeah. wild. I'll so now what we're doing with, with, with Ben is that uh, he, as you guys know, he was a guest star on Next Crypto Jam. He has an amazing appearance. I teased the one little clip of it. In, uh -huh. So if you go to Hourglass, you could see this one little clip of him. Uh, and uh, he's interested in being more involved in upcoming seasons. But in addition to that, I've been talking to him because what he did with the taking over the Ben token is uh, there's a little bit similarity with what we did with Hourglass because we didn't launch Hourglass. We built a community around it and built uh, we, we were supporting it and we're, we're building an ecosystem around it. So he, BitBoy didn't launch the Ben token. This guy called right. Ben.eth did. Right. And now he's taking over the project. So he did a deal. And uh, we kind of helped him with this deal in some ways where he got the all the social assets from the Ben project. He got the liquidity pool for for the Ben project. And now he's literally in control of the fate of Ben. And uh, I'm really bullish. I think some people think that this is just a short term thing for him that, you know, he's just screwing around. He, he's not screwing around. Um, I can tell you that. He's he wants to make the Ben token into a multi billion dollar project, and with his network and reach and what he has planned and how we're going to partner and work with him, I, I would not doubt that uh, this is a possibility. So I'm actually really bullish on what he's doing, and um, excited to to work with him. Um, we announced that Hourglass and the Ben Collectives were going to be working together on a number of things. Yeah, that was such, I don't know, this, the way things have shaken out. He did such a good, I mean, the way he built the momentum to then talk about this partnership with you guys, it was just powerful. <laughs> I mean, the, and, and just the way, so I, I've been watching him for years when he was yeah. a small nobody and just watched them go right to the top, you know, as far as it, at the time, you know, through, it's, it's just been crazy. Seeing yeah, that. Ben is who he is. This is the thing is that he'll literally like I just explained this to Crypto Life for yesterday that what I think what is so engaging about him is he just speaks exactly what is on his mind. He doesn't filter it out and think that, OK, this is OK to say this is not OK to say. He just literally says his emotion. He 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 says it all. And that makes it extra interesting to watch because he's being genuine. He's not trying to be controversial he's just being himself and being completely honest which is what most people are more filtered and that's why it makes right. it so fun uh i agree with him on a lot of stuff we we agree on on mm -hmm. many, many many topics definitely on the idea that we want crypto adoption mass crypto adoption so there's there's a lot of parallels in what we're doing together right. and um we're gonna help each other get to the very very top that's the goal yeah. Okay. This is what you were talking about. The leak. Yeah. <laughs> this little leaked video. Yeah, we get we leaked a, a, a one little bit of uh, of Ben on Next Crypto Gem. <laughs> Man. Yeah. 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 He. You know, for somebody to do what, like, to actually embark on what he's trying to do, take it on Gary Gensler. He just takes on anybody and everybody. He's not scared. <laughs> you know, you have to kind of be a little bit crazy upstairs you know but it's like it, it's it's always been obvious to me he does have this conviction mm -hmm. to just in his mind do what's right and he's yeah. just the bull he's mr alpha dog and he's gonna go ride or die on whatever he's doing all in and so he's 100%. not afraid 
to be as controversial as it gets, just like Leia, who's out there tweeting. Man, she's like <laughs> not afraid to say anything. <laughs> I just love it. I love the it's it's my vibe on that freedom of speech, freedom of, you know, it's it's like refreshing. Now, aren't you going on with Leia? Point. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be um, going uh, going on U Leia's YouTube channel. Uh, we don't. We're just gonna we're gonna figure out the perfect date, and then I want it to be a date where we have a really big drop as well, because she has huge reach, and um, she was nice enough to um, invite me to be on her channel. So that's definitely gonna happen. We just don't know when yet. And uh, yeah, I love I love Leia. Uh, I love her brother Gideon. Also, I work with both of them uh, all the time. And uh, they're our media partners for Hourglass, so we're planning a lot of really cool things. It, it's kind of funny. I didn't mean to. I mean, originally these all these influencers, George, Brian, uh -huh. ben, Leia, they were just going to be on our show as guests. But just so happened that we got along so well during the set. We ended up going to dinners together. We ended up wanting to work together, collab together. Now they're all part of Hourglass Collective in, in major roles. And I wanted to add one more thing on Ben. He is controversial. He's the ultimate showman. He, he does wear his heart on the sleeve and everything. Yeah. What some people don't understand is that he's also incredibly strategic. So right. we're on these calls where he has all these people from the Bit Squad in there and he has this whole plan rolled out for Ben where that's months in advance. And the detail is really staggering. Um, and so it's not just like, Hey, I'm going to take this over and I'll let just wing it. He's, he's very good at envisioning what he wants to see happen in the future and then making it happen. So he knows how to use the law of attraction and to yeah. break up into this big task, which was Ben way, way, way up here at the very, very top and then break that up into small manageable little pieces I was really, really impressed with how much detail he had in his roadmap. Um, they launched a roadmap, but within each little, um, with, within each benchmark in the roadmap, he could talk for three hours about how he wants to achieve that. So he is, you know, an entertainer, but he's also very strategic. Yes, man. It is big brains. It's not, he, he's gone from nothing to the top real fast. Yeah. And it's not random. Uh, no. I mean, it, it, you it, you have to be a strategic thinker. You have to have talent and you have to be engaging. You have to have kind of all of those things. And so, yeah, he's amazing. George is amazing. Um, you know, Leia, Gideon, uh, Brian. I, I couldn't be happier with all the people that I work with every day on all these things. Yeah. And now you guys are making so George is all of a sudden he's advising all these different projects. Mm -hmm. You guys are making partnerships all over the I'm talking Big time, big time projects all over the place. And, and just back at the end of November, early December, this man, Jet, he had none of these. He had nothing. He was just this little whippersnapper coming <laughs> up, talking to me about this TV show. Who, you know, who's this guy? What's good? Little skeptical. I remember BitBoy was like, who's this guy? Little skeptical. And now BitBoy's on his channel featuring you. Talking about you in these partnerships and all these things going with this TV show. We got George talking about you. We got Brian D. Evans, who just, he's another one that just really seems like heart of gold, a caring, genuine oh, yeah. guy with the ethos, like you say, a strong core values, following the golden rule, looking out for the best interests of others. Now, and George and Brian D. Evans are doing this new show called FOMO or Pass. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I mean, they're working together, awesome. they're doing all this. And, and by the way, by the way, the first project they had on their show, FOMO or Pass, was this one right here, Dragon's Crossing. I just got to shill this just for one second. Sure. I love these guys. These guys are uh, DeFi Kingdoms OGs. And again, anybody who doesn't know, we, I, you know, we're hoping, I'm hoping and praying that DeFi Kingdoms makes it on that TV show baby. I'm so pumped. Okay. That's what we, and we won't know until the show actually launches what, you know, who the other uh, contestants are and who actually makes it on the show. There's a top 16 and then there's a top four of the show and your heart behind this project. Next crypto gym is to put crypto projects, you know, in a good light to help because it's so hard for these crypto. I, I talked to dreamer who's the president of DeFi Kingdoms the other night for a couple hours. 
And Dreamer really expressed to me how hard it is to run a project. He, he said he's been working 90 hours a week for a year straight. He hasn't even had time to breathe. And the stress and the pressure that he's on through this is brutal, brutal bear market happening right now. And then all the FUD and the whole team. I know Frisky Fox, it's the same way. The whole team just grinding all the time. And then, and then they, as soon as they lift their head up, okay, and see what's going on out there in the world, they, they see all this FUD, all this, the haters coming out against them. And it's, I can't imagine what these guys go through. It's like, they're putting all this blood, sweat, and tears. They're literally blazing trails. Like DeFi Kingdom's first first project, first time in history that two NFTs can be put together, okay, and then split apart. It's never happened. DeFi Kingdom's did it. And it can be bridged cross-chain. They can cross-chain NFTs paired together, bridging. Never happened in crypto. They're like blazing trails. There's all this development going on within the ecosystem. And guess what's happening? We, we still got people hating on them. Nobody believes in them, even mm -hmm. though they're grinding. They're doing all these different things. And so it's so difficult for these projects to do this. Like, and mo that's why most projects fail. The, the founders and the developers, they can't handle it. It's like, it's so difficult to do this. Okay. And then they're not even appreciated for everything they're doing. It's so insane thing, this project here, Dragon's Crossing. Okay, we, you have these guys, they're trying to do what's right. They're trying to blaze trails and do things that's never been done in crypto. Okay, and these guys, his vision, he had a strong why. He, he always was a gamer, a Dungeons and Dragons gamer, and he, he wanted to make something awesome in crypto Web3 game. He wanted it to come out with awesome tokenomics, sustainable gaming, sustainable NFTs that launches and is ready to go day one. That was his vision. Without, you know, these weird inflationary tokenomics and, and different things, well, they decided to do away with the token altogether, okay? Mm -hmm. So they don't even have a token, which is actually kind of refreshing. And the game launched yesterday. On really as soon they launch, it's addictive, it's really fun. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hitting you up for season two of Next Crypto Gym, which is also coming maybe by the end of this year. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say, hey guys, <laughs> let's let's apply to be on season two of the next crypto gym because these guys, strong core values, same thing, strong ethos, just like with I believe in the team and DeFi Kingdoms. I, I like to find projects that I believe in with strong, solid fundamentals, projects that aren't money driven. They're not trying to make a quick buck looking at the five right. minutes in front of their face. And, and most of these guys, you know what, you know what the problem is with almost all these projects, they're big brains, you know, super logical IQs of 50 million, you know, but are, are they good at messaging communication? Right. Sure. It's not normally what they're good at. It's like, ah, it's like disaster. And that's, Part of even what you're trying to do, you're trying to help these projects. You're not trying to tear down. You're trying to build up. You're trying to, um, you know, help expose good, solid projects out there and, and also make it in an exciting format on this TV show and just helping these projects that are grinding, that need help, that need exposure and, and show the world what's going on. I'm yeah. I mean, that's what it's all about. Look, we're, we're, we're trying to, we know that it's not easy to get eyeballs on your project, especially in a bear market right now. We're in a bear market and a lot of projects aren't going to be able to survive. Um, you have to have really strong funding. You have to be in a position where you're building during bear. So then when you're in the bowl, you can flourish. And, um, and so, yeah, what, one way that we can help is that if you're a contestant on a show and you make it and you're, you're out there, you're suddenly getting tons of attention, tons of eyeballs that you weren't getting before. And it's a fun way to showcase, um, leaders that are from your project. So we're absolutely think that this is a way to kind of during the times where crypto is not in a mania to still make it fun. And I know that, you know, here at Hourglass, we actually like that we're in a bear market because if we were in the bull mania right now, we wouldn't even be really ready. We want all, when we get to that point, we want all of our incubated projects launched, producing. We want to talk about how incredible, how, how our growth statistics month over month, how we're getting, gaining more and more network effect. Um, and so it's perfect. We build now. We have the Bitcoin having in about a year. There's usually a lot of excitement around that. There's usually a, a lot of excitement after that. 
as well. And um, yeah, why don't we talk about uh, Alpha District? Because yes, not a lot of people go. know all all that much about it. And I'm really I I just talked to the creator yesterday for two hours, and Ooh. I can't even believe the caliber of of what what he's building and what he's putting together. Um, so we've revealed some of the projects that are the leadership of Alpha District have worked on. Yes. Um, They've some of them, uh, and these are when we first announced this, there were some, there's always these skeptical people like on Twitter and they're, they're like, Oh, well, maybe they were just this junior marketing person at this form, you know, at this company, or maybe they were the janitor for star Wars. No, no. Okay. We don't do it that way at hourglass. The reason why, like you were talking about, we were able to gain so much traction is that we, always under promise than over deliver. So the people that we, we have people in key leadership positions here who are in key leadership positions at projects that include some of the biggest games out there, like star Wars eclipse, Detroit becomes human clash of clans, assassins creed. Um, they've also worked on like our, the concept designer worked on the Mandalorian on star Trek on the Avengers. I mean, we're literally talking about some of the biggest AAA games uh, in existence and some of the biggest entertainment projects, uh, films, mega budget films in existence. We have a lot of those people that have worked in that on Alpha District. So this is going to be incredible. We're going to be starting to drip out what this is all about, the theme and uh, what's going to be happening. This is more than just a game. This is an entire verse with lots of games within within the verse, and uh, it's going to be a, a big deal. Hourglass is going to be the exclusive in-game token for Alpha District, and um, we showed the trailer at our Bioli Bitcoin um, party uh, last yeah. month, and it got an incredible reception. At our party, we had pretty much who's who of influencers. We had uh, representatives from, I think, three of the top five centralized exchanges at our party. We had uh, market makers. We had VCs. We had uh, mega whales. So people are are paying attention um, to what's, what's happening, and a lot is going on behind the scenes. And, um, yeah, Alpha District is going to be – it's just going to be incredible. So, so it's not just a game. It's also a gaming universe for other games. Uh, it or may end up that way. Initially, it's going to be a verse that is set in the. It's set in the future, um, mm -hmm. in twenty two twenty two. Yep. And uh, so that's why it's got like that cool kind of Blade yeah. Runner meets Las Vegas, you know, right. you know soaked future vibe. Yeah. And uh, I will tell you, it's kind of a really cool post-apocalyptic setting where there is a big power struggle between an evil centralized entity and that those who want decentralization. So oh. there are some big parallels between the crypto universe, what's going on in Alpha District, and, and what's going on in the real world between, who, between centralized entities in our world and those who want decentralization – uh, who, who support, you know, blockchain adoption. Oh, I love it. There's I've been talking to our man, <laughs> our, our man, Lakos, Lakos, Lakos. Uh, I, I'm not, I forgot how to pronounce his name. And Lakos, yeah. Lakos, Lakos, yeah. baby. And he's <laughs> been, he's been, you know, helping this project. And what he said, what turned him on the most about this project was the lure, the story yes. behind it. And he said, it's way, way in depth. And, yeah, like you said, so you have people who helped develop big time games like I think Star Wars is on there. You mentioned The Mandalorian and, and all these different big time developers of these different yep. games are also developing this one. Yes. Is Animoca Brands partly behind this as well? Yes, we have a partnership with the um, I, I don't think we were, we're supposed to. There is something going on. I'm not going to ruin the announcement as we okay. will announce it, but we have something going on with Animoca Brands Ooh. in Alpha District. Uh, let's just leave it at that so okay. Brian doesn't get mad at me. He's our Animoca <laughs> intermediary. We do have something that we're, we're uh, there are involved with us. And yeah, um, yeah the, the guy who's our creative lead yep. is 
has lit- has worked on some of the biggest projects of all time. And uh, I, I when people when we roll this out, it's just going to blow people's minds. Because when you think about look blockchain gaming, it started with what like like crypto kitties, right? You know, way way back. Uh huh. Just kind of like a fad, and um, you know, it was a cool idea, but the graphics were shit, right? Yeah. And um, and then the next wave, like in the you know the whole 2021 boom, yeah, was this idea of these metaverses. But all of this was it takes a long time to build, and they're just getting started, right? right. And then the one that made it, that kind of made a lot of you know uh, Axie Infinity. I mean, it's a cool idea. It got a ton of adoption yep. in the Philippines. But the gameplay itself is, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's so like, cool. Yeah. It, it's nothing it's that's like, special, right? It's first mover advantage there because there's right. not most of the time, just like we said before, how do, how do you start these things? A team, you know, some guy has a vision. He decides to start a project. How do you get the funding? How do you get the structure and the organization to actually develop this? And then how do you handle all the obstacles that come our way with all the insanity that's happened through this brutal bear? You know, how do you do that? So, so what we're doing is we're basically the next generation where we, we, we don't want people playing alpha. Alpha district isn't going to be something that, 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 that people play just to like, you're just, you're, you're just farming and hoping to bring more people into the game in order to make, you know, just make money. And then, and then once it comes down, it comes down. Alpha district is a game first. And that's how we want to bring in mass adoption. We want to have regular gamers that love playing alpha district, playing it and bringing new people into crypto. They don't, they may not even know that this is a crypto game at first, but they just love the idea. They love the theme. They know who is behind it. And then what happens is that you realize, Oh, wow. True ownership with NFTs. Wow, this armor, I really own this armor. Wow, I can really, this weapon, I can trade this. I can make this, you know. And then then that way you see the benefits of, of what blockchain can bring with, with true ownership. And, um, you know, obviously our token is vo- involved, but mm-hmm. it's not going to be this thing where you just keep on clicking some button to try to earn more Aragas. It's going to be a much, much more clever, smart integration into this whole verse. And uh, the idea is to ultimately onboard millions of millions of people, gamers. Yeah. They're going to be integrate using, you know, know about Hourglass. Right. Know about um, blockchain, utilizing NFTs, realizing that it's not just, you know, sometimes right now NFTs have a bad name in gaming in some circles. Uh, but at some point, so did uh, free to play. And over time that changed. And, uh, and now it's, now it's, you know, the biggest, the biggest thing. And if you look at the biggest, highest revenue mobile games right now, a lot of them are free to play and then there's add-ons, right? Mm -hmm. So literally the gaming industry has done a 180 before, and I think it'll happen again this time with, with blockchain adoption, NFTs, tokens, like the weight token in alpha district. And we just want to be on the forefront of that. You're right. uh, I think that's going to happen with alpha district. I'll give you one more. Okay. Alpha drop. If you see right there, see those hourglass billboards? Uh-huh. I sure do. Hourglass is not just the exclusive token for Alpha District. It is a big part of the our of the Alpha District lore and storyline and Ooh. written into the entire plot Ooh. of of the the universe. In wow. addition, one of the reasons why Alpha District decided they wanted to work with uh, with us is that we're you know being the ones to get a crypto uh, show on mainstream TV. We have a lot of connections in Hollywood, so we're very very early stages. We're already talking about how can we make Alpha District a transmedia platform that's beyond just a video game. So imagine Alpha District, the video game, but also maybe Alpha District, the feature film, the TV series, the comic book, the action figures, the stuffed animals. All this stuff uh, has it, we. There's people in our circle that have the ability to make that happen, and uh, it's a possibility with Alpha District being part of the Hourglass Collective. Wow, wow! And so I love how you talked about part of the vision here is to to merge Web two with Web three, right? And yes. last week I had the the founder or co-founder of the three uh, XP conference that's going on starting. One week, in one week, seven days from now, next Thursday, that's getting going in L.A., which I will be at. Dreamers going right. to be there. Speaking. We definitely have to uh, 
meet up and, and grab some beers while you're down here. Just let me know as soon as you're here. I know. I can't wait. I really hope we can connect. But also, yeah. I was even thinking, Alpha District, how can we get this connection, maybe get there at this big time Web 2 merging with Web 3? That's his vision, you know, at this 3XB conference. You know, a lot of our the DeFi Kingdoms fam is going to be there repping. And about it. yeah, I'm pumped there. Maybe somehow, you, you know, I'll, I'll bring it. With, and there is a DeFi Kingdoms meetup in, in the president here of this of uh, 3XP will be there. Man, nice. would love you're, you're, of course, welcome there. Dreamer is going to be there. That's on Thursday night next week uh, in L.A. OK, and also. I wanted to ask Alpha District. So with Brian D. Evans, he's not just an advisor for this project, mm -hmm. right? Like George is, you are, I think Leah, yeah. maybe. Okay. And you're, I mean, Brian is actually deeper. He's not just an advisor. He has a bigger role behind Yeah, it. Brian is a co-founder and, and head of marketing for Alpha District. Okay. So he, he's um, very key. And uh, we couldn't have a better person in that role because, as you know, Brian has one of the best networks in, in all of crypto and not just one of the best networks, one of the best reputations. And I think that the two go hand in hand. Uh, if you have a good reputation, naturally, people are going to want to work with you and uh, you're going to get to know all the other good people that are doing, you know, important, you know, they're doing things to make Web3 better for everyone. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I really enjoy working with him every day on Alpha District and all our other projects. Yeah, so many different things going on. Do you, do you have any idea of when we might start seeing some of the gameplay for this game? Uh, we teased a little bit. So, uh, yeah, you could see a tiny, tiny bit. We yeah. showed the entire – like we tr showed like a three-minute trailer uh -huh. on uh, – at the Bioli party, but right. only five people got to say, it, and then we didn't have like we told people, you know, don't don't shoot cell phone footage and show the whole thing. But uh, they're they're right there. You can see a little bit. Um, right. Right after, wait for that text to to get off, and then there's a little bit. Yep. And I did show this earlier, letting it play here. I love it. Yeah, and you you with right there with George and Leia and Brian uh, up there on stage in Miami, Bitcoin Miami. You guys yeah. had this epic party that is yeah. still killing me i wasn't there dystopian future the city <laughs> full of secrets let's go okay and so and so uh you said you dropped a little bit about when the gameplay might be coming on this yeah yeah um and also some of the stuff that we showed there is gameplay a, a lot of right. projects they just show cinematic trailer which is has nothing to do with gameplay and then they they get people hyped off of cinematic trailer. We're uh -huh. going to be going gameplay the whole whole time. Um, and so, yeah, uh, we're, we're going to be dropping more and more info about Alpha District. Make sure that you follow at Alpha District on yes. Twitter. And I was just on the right pl rollout planning. On Monday, we're putting together the entire roadmap of this drops and this drops and this drops and this drops and this drops, and this drops um, leading up to... Uh, obviously release of uh, uh, there's going to be a mint. There's also going to be um, a lot, lot more. And then the actual game itself, mini games than the actual full game. So wait, uh, you said you already dropped that on Monday or this coming? No, no, no. This coming Monday, I, we're, I'm in a meeting with the people uh, running alpha district where we're going to lay that all out. And then within days after we're going to start to be executing it. Uh, we're probably also going to be giving some sort of a pseudo roadmap type timeline with Alpha District because it's this. There's so much lore in it. One of the things that we want to do is that we want to make it fun, where we're not just like this happens and this happens and this happens. It's going to be we're it's going to be all in the universe and the story as it's rolled out from that. So it's it's almost like you're watching the whole story unfold. And the, the writing is so incredible on this project that uh, I, I'm really, really excited. People, everyone who has seen more than we've released publicly because they're, they're somehow like either a platform partner or they're, they're a pot, possible partner. So we have to show them more. They've just mm -hmm. blown away. Yeah, man. It's so awesome. Crypto Kong right here. He's like my right-hand man. 
we're a package deal. This guy, he sets my schedule. He keeps me straight. He's like a godsend in my life. And also, I was going to say, I know you're out there hustling. I um, know you are hustling because without, but just out of the blue, you hit up my man, Doug Hype this week, baby. And it, that it was like, it wasn't Doug Hype trying to hit you up and connect with you. No, just out of the blue. I know you're out there behind the scenes hustling just unbelievably you're just reaching out to yeah, Doug's awesome. I talked to him. Um, I tried everyone that I met. I met so many people at during the Bitcoin Miami and uh, so many good vibes. And uh, every, pretty much anyone that was in our group that was at all these same parties that we were at, we were all really, really good people. Um, and uh, pretty much everyone I've, I've either already connected with after we did like, so we could do a one-on-one vid conference or I'm going to uh, because, you know, you never know who's going to be the super connector that and who's going to be the perfect partner and uh, right. we want to make our alliance as as powerful as possible. And then, yep. you know, when you're out there partying in Miami, everyone's drinking, everyone's just having a good time. You're not really talking deep about business. So it's kind of fun to meet people that way and then later come back here and then have a serious like discussion. OK, what do we do? What do you do? Where can we work together? What are the possibilities? As someone who's primarily a deal maker, I mean, I, I love yeah. that stuff and it's it's nonstop. I I think today alone, including this, I have uh, like six things, six things on my calendar. Boom, 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 boom. And I know each every single one of them is 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 going to be valuable. You know, huge. Were you able to connect in Miami with Crypto Banter, Rand Man, Hustle, Miles? <laughs> And Benjamin Cohen was out there, a whole bunch yeah, of other guys. Got all of those guys. They're awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I hope, you know, I'll, I'll, I, I've been listening a little bit. I think they mentioned here and there a little bit about this TV show. The word is spreading. When mm -hmm. this thing comes out, there's going to be a lot of eyeballs on this TV show. Maybe millions of people watching this I'm around all yeah. over the world. <sighs> I'll, I'll give another drop. Okay. That, uh, we're very, very close maybe even this week to announcing a major, uh, a partner, which will be helping us get a ton of eyeballs on the pre-show hype. And, um, so look out for that over the next few days. Um, mm -hmm. until it's 100%, I'm not going to say it's hundred percent, but it's looking very, very good. Did a big meeting, um, this morning actually to try to confirm some things. And uh, I think that what I'm really excited about is that I think that people are so skeptical in crypto because, Right. You know, in the real world and in, in the general real business, non-crypto business world, generally, if you say you're going to do something, you most people do it as their business or else if you're like a publicly traded stock, you're going to get called out on it on your quarterly right. earnings calls. You have to execute. And if you don't, then you have to explain why you didn't, why you're late. And you have to give a very, very detailed explanation to shareholders. In crypto, yeah. people just overpromise all the time and then rug, unfortunately. Right. That that's what we're trying to transcend. We don't want to be that person. We're trying to create something new where we everything that we say we do, we're gonna do, right? Yeah. So even though we already are telling people that we did the show, they know that all these, you know, crypto celebrities were were at our set, at our they've seen clips. There's still people that are skeptical. Is this really gonna happen? Is this really gonna be on TV? Once this date drops as to when our premiere date is, what networks it's going to be on, which is going to happen in the next two weeks or so, and then we roll out that this is really happening and you're seeing this in the mainstream press that this is happening, I think that this is the real awakening of what we've done at Hourglass. And so we're right on the cusp of that. And so I'm just really excited because – I know that the show, the hard work, honestly, has been done. I mean, doing these meetings is fun. Doing these, hanging out with you, doing this live stream, I'm having, I'm having fun. It's so I was stressed out when we were like, are we going to get the show to really happen or not? It's fun. It's almost edited. We made it happen. We're gonna. I mean, season two is going to be easier because yeah, we're going to know how 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 incredible season one was. Right. You know? And then um, it'll build, and you'll have more projects yeah. applying. And yeah. just oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love how you talked about yesterday with Lifer, you know, hey, Lifer, you need to get involved in season two. You're just yeah. so open arms to the whole space. He's, he's really good. I definitely would like uh, to have him involved. Um, there's some other folks that I met during the um, at Bitcoin Miami that I'd like to get involved, I'd like to get you involved. Oh, definitely. baby. 
I was hoping to get you involved in season one, but there it didn't quite work out. But we're definitely got to get you involved in season two. And uh, we want you to be involved in a bigger way where you're involved in like social media and everything. So we're, we're going to talk about that after, man. <laughs> oh, oh, baby. You just tell me jump, Grady, and I'll say how high. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, so and all these incubated projects, all these different things. We got Hourglass Weight Token as the exclusive token. All these different things with the Neft brands, all these different apps, even Web2 type apps where people don't even realize that it's a crypto, you know, where you got to <laughs> use the weight token. All right. this. So the weight, the weight token has been, you know, the best thing that's happened for me, you know, getting <laughs> it back, you know, when it was like whatever, four or five cents. Good entry. Gosh, dang. Okay. Um, you're making my day. You're such a blessing. You become a good friend. All these connections you're making, you know, I hope you made some even more connections in Miami that maybe some of these other big influencers out there will be a part of it as well. On top of what you already have, man. And just, gosh, see, when you have these, this kind of ethos where people, you build trust and people believe in you, they trust you because you know that you follow the golden rule. You're right. not in it for a quick cash grab. You're in it for the long term, for the long haul. And you want to do what's right by people. Man, you gain trust. And then look, everybody wants to be a part every, because they like you. They trust you. They're, they're not corrupt. You know, it's like... Right. You, you're drawing good people in on this, people with big hearts like George, like Leia, right. like Ryan. <laughs> okay, it's like it, it's like it. you said, man. Like you like you said, when it's kind of like when we met in November, we didn't have any of this yet, right? It was just an idea. We at that point we only had the fact that we knew that uh, Kevin Harrington, one of the original sharks from Shark Tank, was going to be doing a little guest appearance, but we didn't have all this yet. But the right. one thing that we did have was the fact that. Anything I told anybody uh, was going to be accurate, and then we were going to follow through, and and we weren't gonna we weren't gonna overpromise. So because yeah. we did that piece by piece, and just we built trust with every single person that we talked to, that just grew and grew and grew and grew. And I think that that's what I want to see more in crypto for everyone. I just want to see less bullshitting, yes. less overpromising, less derivative projects more innovation and uh, more um, over deliver, you know? And, I mean, uh, have you ever that over man. delivered? That's what we can do. Has this man over delivered? Has he ever done? Oh my gosh. It's like every week we get some kind of new, you know, huge announcement that this guy's putting out partnerships galore. You got, you got uh, media partnerships. you got, you know, um, you, you, People out there spreading the word, different um, partnerships for like advertising. Mm -hmm. It's just like, yeah, and you're hustling. You're working so hard. You don't sleep. You're not human. You're not, you're a cyborg. Out there. Uh, you, man. You're yeah. live streaming. How many hours? Are you? you're, you're a machine, dude. And I think that's why we get along. Like I said, last interview, we're cut from the same cloth. I think I that, uh, I think that folks that are action oriented, that like to make connections, that, like to see the, all the things that are going on in a space and create symphony between them. So we get, uh, it's not just one plus one equals two. It's like one plus one equals five because the combination of these two creates this supernova of, of exponential growth. That's what we're looking for every day. That's what we're, we're building. We're building, we're building. We have the resources to, um, you know, we could roll in a hundred incubated projects with the resources have, but we're very, 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 very selective because we only want the best of the best to, to be represented in our glass. Right. And it has to be a good fit. There yeah. has to be cohesion in the ethos and the core values has to align. And it's hard to do that. You know, these days people with all kinds of crazy ideas, sometimes it's just not quite the right fit. And yeah. so, but somehow though, though you've managed to do this and keep, you know, just such a positive energy and good vibes, connecting all these strong, bullheaded type people that are alpha, and you just bring peace, you know, between it. I, I love to see it. That's not easy to do, by the way. You, you have to give credit to, to what, to where credit is due. So every time I talk to someone like BitBoy, like George, I'm acknowledging that in their area, they're, they're a million times above me as a 
in, in like YouTube and everything, right? Uh -huh. So we know that they're bringing in these special things to the table where nobody can do that. Nobody can reach that right. many people like BitBoy and George on YouTube. And they have such a loyal following mm -hmm. and then they, uh, people are just think of them as the family member, you know, on, on the screen. Um, and we have to acknowledge that, know that, uh, pay homage to that. But then we also are, we know that we can bring a lot to the table too. Like we can get them on yes. mainstream TV. Uh, we can bring in the resources. Uh, something we didn't talk about is that Neff Brands is growing dramatically. So the vodka itself, you know, right now uh, it is an ultra premium vodka that is available globally, but they're here. They want to grow up to here to where they're as, you know, they're as big as Grey Goose and Belvedere. Those are 10 billion plus companies, right? And so Neft is in the process of getting there where Hourglass wants to be a blue chip crypto. We're growing together. In that process where Neft is growing, they're going to be doing events everywhere. We're, we've already gone to some Neft events where, um, you know, there's hundreds of people there, celebrities, tech CEOs, socialites, and they're all the Neft is the exclusive sponsor and the only vodka there. That's the tie in, right? We're right. going to be having these everywhere and we're going to be tying in Hourglass as well as our key partners in activations like that's one of the things that we're talking with uh ben uh coin collective with doing together so imagine this we have these massive massive neft events right, right. and uh, there's hundreds of people top socialites tech ceos influencers celebrities and there's an activation there with hourglass there's an activation with um with ben coin collective yeah and then you have Bencoin Collective with with like BitBoy and his people, they're covering it on the YouTube side. So we're bringing in the real life events. They're covering it on the crypto side. And and now we, we get exponential benefit for, for both of us. It's just one one thing I'm kind of teasing. We're always looking for win-wins like that. Dude, mic drop. It, I can't even wrap my mind around it and how you made this happen. I know why the guy who owns... You know, your your co-founder, Jeff is his name, right? And and he, what's his full name again? You Jeff Mahoney. He's the chairman yeah. of our collective. The He's chairman. not, I, I definitely not going to put myself on par with the billionaire. So I'm more than happy. I was <laughs> to, to step down and be president of Hourglass Collective and have him be the chairman. Yeah. With, uh, <laughs> he well, and inspiration I, I, and mentor here. <laughs> and he, I know why he picked you to be the guy, right? <laughs> to, to get, to launch this thing. Because he sees in you this heart of gold and Mr. Make It Happen here. It's amazing. So much going. How you've been able to pull this off. Jet, you are truly a legend. You're like, and you've really become a good friend. That is just cool, man. Yeah, man. I feel the same way, dude. And that's why it's awesome to have you as part of the family. And uh, hey, look, I know that that you know that we've come a long way and it's just in, to some extent, that's true, but we're still in the very, 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 very beginning. When we look at where we are right now in terms of where we want this to be in order for this to be a meaningful venture for, for Jeff to be involved with, we're, we're still in the first inning. And uh, and yeah. I think that now it's it's really when it gets fun. Like in, in the beginning, it was a, it was a, a little bit, a lot more stressful because it's like, are we going to have a community that sustains are we going to be able to make this TV show happen? Are we going to get be able to get it shot? Are we going to be able to get the cast that we want? We got these things. Now we have this incubated program where we can keep on bringing in more and more and more projects into the Hourglass ecosystem. So the, the hard work is done and now it's just going to be fun and growth. And I, I, I urge everybody to check us out. You can go to our website, hourglassx.com. Our Telegram is filled with very friendly community members. Some of them are new. Some of them have been here for the beginning. Anyone who goes in there and asks a question, they usually get an answer within like a minute because we have so many people that are in our community that just volunteering to help. Right. Um, they know that what we're building and they know they know that um, they're confident because we've we've been delivering from, from day one. And when you keep on delivering, you deliver the first time, people go, okay, you delivered. You deliver a second time third time, fourth time, once you've done it by the 15th time and you say something's going to happen, they believe you that something's going to happen when you say it will. So. Yes, the telegram of, of Hourglass, okay? The community is phenomenal. 
<laughs> there's so much help, helpful people, so many helpful people there. So I would highly recommend joining that. It's growing. It's just good people, good vibes. And let's not discount also, I wanted to say, Leia is a rising star. She's not oh, yeah. just a dime. She's not just a pretty face. She's big brains. And she knows what she's doing. She's not afraid to take on the world. You know, when it comes to defending Bitcoin, she'll take on Peter Schiff or whoever. Let's go. And, you know. I, I just want to say this, is that when you think about Leia, she's definitely, she loves Bitcoin. She's a bit of a Bitcoin maxi. We all know that. She was very, very tough on the show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The fact that she was able to, we, we met her, we talked about the vision of Hourglass with her and her brother. She really, she had an incredible experience on set. She's always wanted to be, um, uh, she, you know, she has a ton of experience as a podcaster, as a YouTuber. She's yep. always wanted to be like the star of a show like this too. And she absolutely crushed it. She just shines on stage. Yep. And the fact that she's willing to also come on as a media partner for Hourglass that yep. says a lot about it. The fact that she's she's pretty much a Bitcoin maxi, right? But <laughs> she does believe in what we're doing. And that's why uh, she and her brother are media partners for Hourglass. And um, they're great friends. Couldn't be um, more thrilled to have them on board. They actually went to one of those. We, we uh, I invited them as special guests to one of these NEF parties in Miami that was at Eden Rock Hotel. And uh, it was amazing. It was like this 20 theme, 20s themed really ritzy there was probably over a thousand people there performers and uh when i explained to them look this is one neft event there's going to be we're going to move towards having hundreds of these a year throughout the world i think they were pretty impressed at the caliber of who's in our community and who's uh <laughs> who's giving us a lot of backing it's amazing she's a rising star her youtube yeah. channel is really growing blowing up it's quality content I caught, I, I never even heard of her before, but I mean, that's another biggie not to discount that. I think she is the star. Amazing. You know? She, she yeah. knows exactly. She speaks her mind. Um, yeah. Like, like with Ben also, I, I agree with her on a lot of things. I don't agree with, we don't have to agree on everything. And a lot of people, I think that they don't really understand that they think that maybe she's just like a mean person or something. No, she just has a very strong opinion and certain points of views. And if you have a discussion with her, you can have a very intellectual discussion with her about, I agree with you on this and this, this, I right. don't really agree with you. And she's completely reasonable and logical. Right. Um, I think with tweets, there is a, kind of an entertainment aspect to them. So sometimes <laughs> it takes a little bit of provocative stance. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and I don't blame them for that because they, they know how to uh, be rainmakers. Yeah. Um, I, I, look, It's a high IQ trait. Yeah. It, it, it really and, is. And she, and she crushes it on screen too. There are some clips yeah. of her in the next crypto gem that right. I think are going to really transcend her being a crypto star and just make her a TV star. Yes. So when these come out, it's just going to blow people's minds. She's a rising star. I mean, she is like the star. I yes. mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's with full of substance. I think she's going to be big. She's growing and it's, it's phenomenal. Really. Yeah. All this, I see what's coming. You, you're right. We're in the first inning still. I can't yeah. imagine a year from now, two years from now, five years from now. Oh, Jet. Okay, it's been an hour. Anything else? No, man. I, look, this is. I, I'm happy to come on here um, as often as you want me to give you updates. This is just the beginning, man. I, I, I love. I love sharing the journey with you because you have so much positive energy and it makes it more fun for me. Um, I don't even really feel like I'm in an interview with, I'm talking to me. There's just two guys shooting the shit and, yeah. and, and, and it's awesome, man. And uh, so I'm happy to come on uh, more as things go on and uh, yeah, just, just follow along the journey. I think that if you see why, you guys out there, there's a reason why Crypto Grady is so excited about what we're doing. He's been following us from the beginning. He sees that how fast we're growing. So check us out on our website, on our Twitter. Follow along. Go to our Telegram and uh, be part of it. Oh, man, I love you. I love you guys. I'm so pumped. You just tell me, man, I'll be, I'll be your bus boy. You just tell me what to, I'll be your grunt guy. You get more high level than that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to see what's going on. And to see how where this unfolds, I just want to be a blessing and help.
and help. I'm really excited to see some of these other projects that are in the incubation program. I'm going to be a part of it. I'm really excited to see some of these contestants on the next crypto gym. I've been scouring, trying to find who some of the other applicants might have been, you know, and trying to figure out because I'm excited to check out all these projects oh, and cover them and talk about them. OK, I love you. So pumped for this show. It's coming in July, baby. Let's go. Hopefully we can connect next week, 3XP. Hopefully DeFi Kingdoms made it on that show. Hopefully some other awesome things come. Season two by the end of this year, right? Season two by the We're end of We're definitely year. absolutely going to be in pre-production for sure. Even okay. when we... Uh, when the show's released, we're probably going to start taking applicants for season three. We haven't created the exact date yet for shooting season three. It could be this year. It could be. And uh, we will three? determine that. But no matter what, season two is coming for sure. Uh, we just don't have the dates yet. Dang. Dang. Yeah. I'm buying up. Wait, I've been DCAing, you know, nice. more in. I buy those dips, baby. And for some reason, I can't believe it hasn't already even exploded more. <laughs> So, it's, still, it's still a very early stages. If you yeah. if you look at, um, you know, like I'm not supposed to talk about token price mm -hmm. and everything, but I'll just say that this, if you look at the number of holders, we have a very small number of holders compared to, you know, these big meme coin projects that are just, you know, everywhere, like the Pepe's of the world. And it's be, so it's still kind of a very, very tight knit group. It's kind of like a little secret but it's not going to stay that way because once we have a TV show that's that's out there globally and Hourglass is branded throughout that and we're everywhere, we're, I'm very, very optimistic we're, we're going to be growing. Uh, so right now it's still a little secret for now. Okay. Oh, love you guys. Jet, the man himself, the myth, the legend, the rising star of all stars in crypto. When this man flexes his biceps, the foundations of the earth shake and tremble at this <laughs> man okay i love it so pumped love you guys jet with hourglass weight token and crypto grady out baby yeah.